for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you stand up wherever you are? I want us to sing together for the Lord. I will play the music and we are going to sing together. Hallelujah. Amen. Wherever you are, just raise up your hands. Let us sing unto the Lord together. You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you, our Lord. You are with this to be praised. Sing it again. You are.
Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. You are my Lord. You are my Lord. You 
are my savior. You are my savior. Wash me with your blood. Wash me with your blood. Forgive me all of my sins. Forgive me all of my sins. Bless me today. Bless me today. Protect me from today. Protect me from today. With your power. With your power. Of the Holy Spirit. Of the Holy Spirit. From today. From today. I am born again. I am born again. I am saved. I am saved. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Clap your hands for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Wow. It's nice to be here. Amen. It's nice to be in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you tell your neighbor, say, my neighbor? My neighbor. Say, you are blessed. You are blessed. Say, neighbor. Neighbor. Your life will never be the same. Your life will never be the same. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, neighbor. Neighbor. I am blessed. I am blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. And say, my life will never be the same. My life will never be the same. Say, neighbor. Neighbor. Look at me now. Look at me now. Because it's the last day I'm looking like this. It's the last day I'm looking like this. It's the last day I'm be in this level. It's the last day I'm in this level. Say God is promoting me today. God is promoting me today. By fire, by force. By fire, by force. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Clap your hands for Jesus Christ. You can sit down wherever you are. I am so happy to be here with you tonight. Amen. The Bible says that where two or three comes together in my name, Jesus said that there I am in their midst. Amen. And also tonight, Jesus Christ is here. The Holy Ghost is here. God Almighty is here. Angels are here. Amen. We are in the presence of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are in the presence of God. Amen. Is there anybody here you are not feeling well tonight? Anyone here you are not feeling well tonight? You are believing for God to heal you? Anybody like that? Amen. Do you have any pain in your body? The pain in your back, that pain is the last time you're going to be having it. Amen. As the word of God will be coming in tonight, it will be coming with power. Amen. Amen. Power to heal, Amen. power to bless, Amen. power to deliver, power Amen. to protect in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, when we say that we are in the presence of God, if you have got the gift of discernment of spirit, you might have felt it when you come here and you felt the power of God Amen. and you felt the presence of God Amen. then pow that power of God is not just here for nothing it's here for you then you must expect that power of God to touch you Amen. you must expect that power of God to touch you and if the anointing of God and the power of God touches you, that's where the miracle happens. Amen. If it touches you, tomorrow you get your job. Amen. If it touches you, 
you get healed now. Amen. Amen. If it touches you, every demon tormenting you, it goes. Amen. Amen. You know, when I'm hearing Maputi testifying, saying that uh, after prayer, most of the time I will speak as if it's so simple, ah, all is well, God has answered your prayer. Why? During prayer, most all the time, if I'm praying for somebody, I, I was feeling the power of God touching him or her. Mm. To me, when I'm praying for someone, it's like it's the same thing when I'm here tonight. Amen. Amen. When I'm talking about the presence of God and the power of God, it's not something that I'm fabricating or I'm thinking. I could feel, I feel that anointing. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. I can feel that anointing. I can feel that power of the Holy Spirit. And if it allows, if you allow that power of God to touch you, there is no problem that can that can stay in the presence of God. Amen. Amen. There is no sickness that can survive in the presence of God. Amen. You know, the Bible talks about a certain woman. The Bible says that there was a certain woman. This woman, she had an issue of blood. The Bible says that for 12 years she was sick. And the Bible says that as for 12 years she was sick, the Bible said that one day she told herself that if I touch the hem of his garment I'm go- of Jesus Christ, I'm going to be healed. Amen. And the Bible said that it was the day that Jesus Christ was going to the house of Jairus mm. to go and pray for the daughter of Jairus who was sick. Mm. And the Bible said that as Jesus Christ was going to the house of Jairus, the Bible said that there was this woman who was sick for 12 years who have told herself that if I touch the hem of this garment I am going to be healed. Mm. And the Bible said that in the midst of the crowd Jesus Christ suddenly he stopped and said somebody touched me. Somebody touched me. And the Bible said that the disciples of Jesus Christ were surprised. Mm. Jesus, how could you say that somebody touched me? Don't you see that there is no one person who's touching you? But there is a crowd of people who is touching you. Don't you see that there is it's not one person who's touching you, but there is a crowd. How could you say somebody touched me? The Bible says that Jesus Christ continued to stop and look around. There is someone who touched my touch me. And the Bible said that in the midst of the crowd, there was that woman who had been sick for 12 years. She came out and said that, Jesus, I've been sick for 12 years. As I was sick for 12 years, I've gone to many doctors. Nobody could heal me. They've tried everything, nothing could work. But today I've told myself if I touch the hem of his garment, I'm going to be healed. I'm the one who touched you. I can feel that I'm free. I can feel that I'm healed. And the Bible says that Jesus said that somebody touched me because he felt the anointing leaving his body. Amen. And said that I felt the anointing leaving me. I felt it. That there was somebody who was siphoning the anointing. And one thing that I've learned for years is that anointing, which is the power of the Holy Spirit, is the one that if it touches you today, your sickness will be no more. Is the one that if it touches you today, tomorrow you get a job. Is the one that if it touches you today, that demon will never come back. Hallelujah. And I can tell you that I'm not talking about theory. I'm not talking about something that I've heard. I'm not talking something about I've read. I'm talking about something that we have done and we have used for years. Amen. And people all over the world came back with a testimony. Amen. 
You know, when I hear the testimony of the people who, who follow online, like Maputi, what she's talking about, I go like, wow. These are the people who may be fasting following online, who will be listening to the service following online. Amen. Some of those people we have never met at all. Maputi is better because we have met. I think this is the second time she's seen me like this. Mm. But she's someone that we have never met. I prayed for her, casted out demon over the phone. Prayed for her, she was healed over the phone. Over years. That is your son, right? The one who calls me every time. The son has been here several times just over the phone, but we have never met. I don't know. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. But I'm trying to say to you, if that anointing flows and it touches you, I'm trying to tell you, I don't know what is your problem. I don't know what is your challenge, but that anointing or the power of the Holy Spirit, if it touches you, nothing can survive. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In the book of Acts of Apostles, the Bible talks about different encounters with the power of the Holy Spirit, with the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says that God did many mighty miracles with the hands of Apostle Paul. The Bible says that he will pray for handkerchiefs. When he has prayed for handkerchiefs, the handkerchiefs will be taken. And once it is taken, the Bible says that it will be taken to someone who is sick. As it touches someone who is sick, that person was healed. Amen. As it touches someone who was demon possessed, that person was healed. That anointing was touching people by, by the medium of a cloth. Amen. Touching people that had Apostle Paul does not know. Touching people that a soul have not seen is that that anointing, if it touches, miracles happen. Amen. The Bible talks about even in the life of Apostle Peter. The Bible says that Apostle Peter, the anointing was so strong. Oh. The Bible says that people will people will be laid will be laid in the streets just for the shadow of Peter to pass. Amen. And those who were demon possessed, the demons were cast out. Amen. Those who were sick, sicknesses disappear. Amen. Then sometimes all you need is the power of God to touch you, no matter the problem, Amen. no matter the challenge, Amen. if it touches you your situation will change. Amen. Then tonight, as we speak like this, the power of God is touching you wherever you are. Amen. You know, there are different ways to demonstrate the power of God. Amen. I remember some of the time, most of the time, when we were demonstrating the power of God, we will just tell you, oh, your hands will shine. Amen. After, after the service, I check your hands, and you see that, ah, your hands are what? It's the demonstration that yes, you are in the presence of God. Yes, you are in the power of God. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. But I'm saying to you tonight, we are in the presence of God. Mm. We are in the power of God. Amen. And that power of God is touching your life. Amen. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. That power of God is touching your career. Amen. That power of God is touching your finances. Amen. It's touching every sectors of your life in Jesus' name. Amen. And the problem you saw, the Egyptian you saw, you shall see them no more in Jesus' name. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. Say fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire. I love the word of God. I love the word of God. 
I'm enjoying the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says that in the book of Luke chapter 4 verse number 18. Jesus said that the spirit of the Lord is on me because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and the recovery of the sight of the blind and to set the oppressed free and to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Okay, this was Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was saying that the Spirit of the Lord was on him. Hallelujah. Amen. The same Spirit that he gave to us, the Spirit of God was on him. The same Spirit that he gave on us. And what that Spirit, which is the, the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, the anointing of God, the power of God, what that spirit is capable of doing. The Bible said that that anointing, it brings good news to the poor. Why does it bring the good news to the poor? It brings the good news to the poor because if it touches you and you are poor, you will get a job in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You will buy a house in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You will buy a car in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It cannot touch you with expectation and things remain the same. Yes. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. I remember last year. We begin to have a service, few services here last year together. Yes. When we had a few services together, we did one prayer. Peter just get promotion and become a supervisor. Amen. Amen. The following one, we do prayer, we do prayer. Hope got a job. Amen. The other one, we do small, small prayer. The other the lady get a job from where we're from. So I don't know, somewhere there. Amen. Amen. These are the people who are saying that I'm looking for a what? I'm looking for a job. Today, I, when I passed through Lois Street Church, I was thinking to say, ah, God have been good. God have been good. It's not as if everyone have got jobs. But all I was, God was just reminding me, all those who are close to me, uh, no matter what they did in school, they got jobs. Amen. No matter what they've done, they got jobs. Amen. I was passing Amen. close to where my sister work. But I'm like, ah, even this one, miraculously, when I left Musina, she just got miraculously a job. Amen. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. So that she may not be poor. Amen. Like what the Bible said that God, the anointing to do what? Proclaims the good news to what? To the poor. Amen. Tonight, are you poor? Tonight, are you saying things are not going well? You are looking for the touch of God? Yes. That anointing is touching you tonight. Amen. Amen. Of it, you will be rich in Jesus' name. Amen. Out of that power of the Holy Spirit, your life will never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Very soon you will be singing. Jesu wanga unanda banane. Jesu wanga unanda banane. Jesu wanga unanda banane. Jesu wanga unanda banane. Ompisa apa mbe apa. Ompisa apa mbe apa. life if you allow it to work you will be swinging my way your way Jesus is good my way your way Jesus is good you will be going like 
Chukwe, chukwe, Jesus is good. Chukwe, chukwe, Jesus is good. Everything is double, double. Oh. My double, double. Oh. My car, double, double. Oh. My double, double. Oh. My money, double, double. Oh. Because the Bible said that this anointing Amen. it brings good news to the poor. Amen. One day before the service, yeah, we passed through the shelter. We prayed. After prayer, the next time I remember the following month we went to the shelter. 80% were saying that when say, ah, that one who was away, he said, No, he went to work. Went to work, they got a job. I remember that day we pray, the third service we come. Where is what? Others were now coming. I'm at work, I just said I must come and attend a bit and go. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Hey, hey, hey. This was the woman who does, who, does who, who you will wonder can this one get a job? Can this one carry a job? The Bible said that is anything too hard for God? No. Absolutely nothing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. Indeed, on those ladies, God break poverty. I'm saying to you, God is breaking poverty in your life in Jesus' name. Yeah. God is breaking poverty in every step of your life in Jesus' name. You know, today I was passing by game, buying one, two, or three. As I'm, I'm at game, you know, in Petersburg, this other lady said, ah, we are selling credit cards. Can, can, can you take one credit card? You can buy in four or five shops. I said, ah, my sister, I'm in that level of life where I get a lot of money in such a way that if I take this credit card and somebody know how much this man gets, they will say, ah, ah, what's wrong with this man? Amen. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Because God has changed my story. Amen. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. There was a time I could have get it, got it. But I'm no longer there. Amen. And your story is changing in Jesus' name. Amen. Can you say sorrow? Bye bye. Sorrow. Bye bye. I belong to God. to go I belong to God Are you hearing what I'm saying Amen. If you allow this anointing to work Amen. Your life will never be the same Are you hearing what I'm saying Amen. Poverty will never follow you Amen. Jobs will follow you Amen. Money will follow you Amen. Cars will follow you. Amen. Good things will follow you. Amen. That's why David says that in the book of Psalm 23, verse number 1. He said that the Lord is my shepherd. Amen. I lack nothing. Amen. When you start with the story of David, the Bible does not start by saying David thinks were well. The Bible said that David was a shepherd boy. David was nobody. But when this grace, 
this anointing begin to work in the life of David. David was saying that the Lord is my shepherd and I do what? I lack nothing. Because this anointing provided everything that he needed. Amen. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. I see this anointing providing everything that we need in Jesus' name. Amen. This anointing is bringing every money that you need in Jesus' name. Amen. This anointing is creating for us jobs in Jesus' name. Amen. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. You know, these things work. I have tested it myself. Amen. It's working in my life. Amen. You know, I remember last of last year, last I you know, I was changing jobs the way I want. Changing job from one another. When I come here, about two companies were fighting. Another one say, come and work for me. Another one say, come and work for me. Other, and I choose the other one, the, the third one. I don't know whether you're saying. Amen. And I choose this one because they are giving me more, more money than others. Amen. I don't know what, uh, what I'm telling you. I've seen this anointing me, taking me from being a nobody to become a somebody. Amen. And as you have done it for me, we'll do it for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah! The Bible said that he has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners. He has sent me to proclaim what? Freedom for the prisoners. That means this anointing, it breaks the yoke. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Because demon captures people. Amen. Amen. But the Bible said that this anointing breaks the what? The yoke and gives you freedom. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When the Bible said that there was this man, the Bible said that this man, this man, he was demon possessed in Gadara. The Bible said that when this man is demon possessed in Gadara, he used to stay in graveyard. He used to stay in graveyard naked, cutting himself. The Bible said they tried to chain this man, but he used to break even chains. Nobody could chain him anymore. But the Bible said that when the Lord Jesus Christ approached Gadara, the Bible said that that anointing arrested that demon. That demon begin. That demoniac of Gadara, a man who was possessed with stuck six thousand demons, legions of demons, begin to shout. Hey, are you coming, son of son of God? Are you coming to torment us before time? Son of hey, son of God, why are you here to burn us before time? Because the power of the Holy Ghost has arrested those demons. And the Bible said that Jesus said that you demon come out. All demons went out and went and, and possessed the, the pigs, and those pigs committed suicide. But the Bible is talking about he sent that man of Gadara free. Amen. I'm saying to you tonight, I don't know what is your problem. Amen. I don't know which demon has possessed you. Amen. I don't know which demon has possessed you. Amen. But today that anointing is breaking that yoke in Jesus' name. Amen. I remember just before Maputi got her first job, I was praying for her over the phone. And the demon which was before causing her not to get a job was arrested. Amen. Ah, Holy Ghost fire. Amen. This fire burns. Amen. This anointing burns. Amen. That demon was casted out. Amen. Within a day or two, she was saying that she got a job. 
Amen. The same job that she's saying today, she's a thanking God that is permanent. Amen. I don't know which demon is tormenting your life today. Amen. But this anointing which is just breaking every yoke in Jesus' name. Amen. This anointing is setting us free in Jesus' name. Amen. And your life will never be the same in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every demon, every demon in my life, in my life, in my family, in my family, in my career, in my career, in my anything, in my anything, is catching fire now. It's catching fire now. It's catching fire now. It's catching fire now. It's ca- it's living my everything. It's living my everything. Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. That demon have left you tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The demon that you saw, you shall see it no more in Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible said that that anointing, this anointing set the oppressed free. This anointing set Hey, it's for the recovery of the blind. You see, whether you were blind physically, blind spiritually, this anointing, it opens your eyes. And you be, that's why some are saying, ah, after that, hey, I can pray. I can listen to the word of God. In the past, we, it has also opened the blind eyes. Amen. I remember this other day I was at the clinic here. At this clinic here, Musina Clinic. That day I was going, it was before I go to work to the mine because I used to work in the mine here. Then that day in the morning, we are done praying. There was this other lady sitting somewhere in the bench. She said, Pastor, I've got a problem. My uh, one eye is totally blind. I said, what? One eye is totally blind. Don't worry. This anointing can open the blind eye. Amen. Amen. So those who are there, let us stretch our hands towards her. We do a prayer for her. <laughs> After prayer for her, we say, close the eye that could see. One attest the eye that could not see. How many fingers? I said, five. How many fingers? I said, three. How many fingers? One. What are we wearing? She could even tell the colors of what we are wearing. I remember that day when people were clapping hands for God, for Jesus Christ at that clinic. Why? Because the anointing opens what? The blind eyes. I don't know whether you are blind physically, you are blind spiritually, but that anointing is opening your blind eyes in Jesus' name. The Bible says that this anointing proclaimed the year of the Lord's favor. Amen. Amen. I don't know how your 2023 was. Yeah. I don't know how your 2024 was beginning like. But today, this anointing is working favor for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Wherever you go, people will favor you by fire, by force. Yeah. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Yeah. Wherever you go, people will do what? Will favor you by fire, by force. And I want to tell you that favor is not fair. Favor is not fair. Very soon we'll be dancing that song. Hey, favor. I don't know whether you're what I'm saying. Amen. And favor is not what? It's not fair. Because favor will cause God to favor you. Huh? It will make you to stand out. Amen. I remember one day I was hearing the testimony of Mia Hope. And she was talking about how she, she got this other job. And you could tell that this one was a favor. Amen. When Maria Mezu was not here, and she, she cut her lambano the job. Amen. She take the job that belongs to someone. Amen. And she enjoy the money. Amen. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. I'm saying 
to you things that we don't qualify for. The Lord is qualifying us in Jesus' name. Yeah. Yeah. You know, currently I'm doing I'm doing masters and my second masters oh. in business administration, okay. and I'm doing my PhD in mechanical engineering. My colleagues they wonder, ah, how do you do these things? Are you a genius or what? Which planet are you coming from? They wonder, ah. <laughs> because in the papers I've got a lot of papers. I'm not just a, I'm not an ordinary engineer. Engineers can come and stand here, but they don't have papers that I have. Amen. I don't know whether you hear what I'm saying. Amen. <laughs> I can challenge, I'm talking about engineers in my field and say you take out papers. But they will wonder, how did I get these papers? It was favor. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Where God helps you miraculously. He causes even some, some software to be developed in America to help you. Yeah. Then when you register it, you just press a, you just press a button to get all the report to submit. Yeah. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Favor is working in your life in Jesus' name. Yeah. Favor is working in every sphere of our life in Jesus' name. Yeah. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Yeah. Favor is not what is not fair. I remember how how my wife got a job in Johannesburg. Let me tell you what happened. Maybe you never heard the story. When I left here, I said my wife, it was when she was permanent in the mine. She just got a job. It was now just become permanent in the mine. I said you quit a job. The same job who gave you a job there can give you a job anywhere in the world. One day we were doing night prayer, just a prayer in the evening. I said, today we begin to pray. We pray. I said, today begin to be serious. She pray. She pray. Then what happened? The following day, out of nowhere, they called her. They called her and said, ah, we have got a job for you. Come for a job. And now when she was working in that job, they said that the, the person who she was reporting to said that, can I tell you how you were employed? They were looking for someone. They brought me CVs. I was supposed to look one by one. And I see who qualifies. I did not look. I just picked. <laughs> That's how you got your job. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Yeah. A job in which also today is permanent. Yeah. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Yeah. Why? Favor is not fair. Yeah. Favor breaks protocol. Yeah. God is breaking protocols for us in Jesus' name. qualifying you for what you don't qualify for in Jesus name Amen. miraculously things are working for our good in every sphere of our life in Jesus name Amen. and I'm saying that you will never struggle in Jesus name Amen. can I tell you how I got this other job Amen. when I got this other job it was the time I got a job in ESCOM what happened? We went for interview. I get a job. Then this my manager, we're working together in the plant now. And he's talking to his friend, his colleague. He said that, ah, do you know why I employed him? It's just because he's a pastor. Because by that time, I have not worked in power, in power station. Even my current job, the one who, who employed me, who, who, who put me on it, one day, we're doing a farewell for him because if you favor me, God favor him. Amen. He get a bigger job somewhere. Amen. Then he was telling, telling the people, this one I've called him to come here that he will pray for us. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Favor is not what? 
is not fair. Amen. And that favor is working in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. I say favor is working in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And the Lord will qualify you for what you don't qualify for. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Say favor is my name. Oh. Amen. I said, people will favor us for nothing in Jesus' name. Amen. People will favor you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. As God has said to Papa Abraham, I will bless those who bless you. Amen. And I will curse those who curse you. Amen. When you see someone favoring you just because God wants to bless them. Amen. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Yes. You are about to see the power of God favoring you. Amen. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Say, I'm about to see. I'm about to see. Favor of God. Favor of God. Working in my life. Working in my life. Working in my family. Working in my family. Working in my career. Working in my career. Working in my finances. Working in my finances. Working in every sector of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. You know, even when I'm at work, I don't know whether you're saying. Amen. When I'm where I am at work, you will I will just be there. And things are just working because as a, as a child of God and a servant of God, as I put my feet there, things just begin to work for my good. Amen. Then you will be hearing that the one that I'm reporting, the general manager says that, ah, I'm very happy with you. What am I doing special? Not really much. It's a favor of God working for what? Working for me. I'm saying to you from today, you'll never struggle in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You will work like an you will not go, you will work like an ant and, and eat like an elephant. Amen. Amen. Some people are working like elephant and eat like an ant. Amen. They work too much. They don't see what they are working for. Amen. But from today, you will see it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God is working for us, is working for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Poverty stagnation is broken in Jesus' name. Amen. Bad luck is broken in Jesus' name. Amen. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. No sugar. I'm not putting any sugar. Everything I'm telling you, I'm telling you as it is. Amen. Because this things work. Amen. We are not just praying. Amen. We are not just fasting. Amen. We are not just spending time in the presence of God. Amen. But these things we have tested it ourselves. Amen. We have enjoyed it. You say, wow, God is good. Amen. God is wonderful. Amen. Let this grace of God work in your children in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. In your grand grandchildren in Jesus' name. Amen. From today, you are unstoppable in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You are unkillable in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And everything is turning around for our good in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. This power of God is working for us in Jesus' name. Amen. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Say, my way, your way, Jesus is good. Oh, my way, your way, Jesus is good. Oh, chukwe, chukwe, 
Jesus is good. Oh, in Jesus is good. Yo, way, yo, way, Jesus is good. Oh, way, yo, way, Jesus is good. Say, yo, way, yo, way, Jehovah is good. They are wasting their time. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Because this, the anointing of God is working where? In our life. Before the end of this month, you will be having a wonderful testimony. Before the end of this year, you will be having a what? A wonderful testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. That shows that the power of God is at work in our life in Jesus' name. Wow, wherever you are, begin to pray, begin to pray. Stand up and begin to pray.
anything which is not of God. Anything which is not of God. In my life. In my life. In my body. In my body. In my career. In my career. In our country. In our country. In every sector of my life. Yes, what is happening there? Father, we thank you. What is happening there? It's hot. The fire is busy there already. Amen. It's like your family is in the presence of God. Amen. 
it's like hey, hey, your anything is here. Amen. Lakra to prayam to pahaya katalabaha. finish until it's done. Amen. Amen. It's gonna bend that thing until <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. He's always by my side. Touch right now, switch on your touches right now. Check some of your hands are shining right now. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Something is happening. Can I? I want to see something. I want to see something. Can I, I have not seen anything. Can I? Can I have somebody with a touch? I've not seen anything. What is going to begin to be happening now? Like this. It's beginning to increase right now. Oh. What is this thing? Karabo's hands are shining also. Oh. Also, I hope his hands are increasing. Just to show that they are anointing. <laughs> God is powerful. I remember when I was going back last service, and they were like, Eris, it can't be. <laughs> Look at that. Kotsiaka <laughs> lava. Look at that. 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 Look at that.
Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look Look at that. They are shining like diamonds that have been dropped over them. Amen. Look at this, Ramokaji. Oh, yeah, no, who are you? Some more things with it. It's good, friends. Yo, Ramokaji. Hmm, the hands are shining right now. Amen. You are in the presence of God. Amen. And that presence of God is working in your life. Amen. That presence of God, that anointing of God is working in your life. Amen. Right now, can you touch your head? Raise up those hands first. Raise, raise them up. I say our hands are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Everything that you touch shall be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Every bad thing that you touch shall disappear in Jesus' name. Amen. I command those hands to become money magnet in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Whatever good that you touch shall multiply in Jesus' name. Amen. Whatever bad that you touch shall disappear in Jesus' name. Touch your head. Say, I am blessed. I am blessed. I am delivered. I am delivered. I am blessed. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Clap your hands for Jesus. Do we have people here 